welcome to class today. This class period is all about making box forts. Maybe a little bit of it's not a box and a super student recommendation from Flipgrid. Grayson from fifth grade asked for us to do a box fort activity. You'll be seeing a time lapse video of my kids making their box forts. And then at the very end, I will show you how to put things together without using tape and glue. So we'll be talking about some different types of um, ways to put things together. So stick around for that because you might be able to try some of it at home. It's gonna be a fun one. Okay guys, so you are going to see the big mound of boxes there that were behind me in the intro. We are going to start our time lapse after we have cut all of the boxes to the size pieces that we want. We'll leave that out to shorten the length of time that we're watching. So I will start the time lapse once our boxes are cut to size and we're ready to start building. JJ and Mr. Holt Camp attempted their own box fort. You'll notice Griffey in his cage, otherwise he'd be tearing all of this down. There's a little bit of a tape fail there. You'll see it in the next time lapse as well. JJ is going for a Minecraft look, so you'll see he is about to get his helmet built out of a box. All right. Okay, so the girls are getting started with their box forts here. You will see an epic fail with the blue painter's tape again. I do not recommend it. So Julia's fort is where we start. You'll see Megan's is on the left. It is open to her American Girl doll area. We're working on Megan's now and you'll see Julia's roof system starts to collapse. So we're gonna use some different tape. Mr. Holcamp does come in to save the day with some black Gorilla tape and yes, that is much sturdier. Now back to Megan and she has a partial set of walls so she can still get to her dolls and a partial roof system as well. There are various attachment techniques you can try at home. The flange, the gusset and triangle support, and the L brace, which we used in our box system with tape. Slots, where you cut two slots and insert them together. You can also use the tab system where you cut a tab and cut a slot and then put the two pieces together. You can then also try a brass fastener which will make parts move. A hole punch can be used and pipe cleaners then to connect the pieces. You can also use a skewer which will make the cardboard move. If you don't have cardboard at home, try these paper building techniques. Many of them require tape and glue, like the roll, loop, fringe, the tabs, which you saw with cardboard, curls, which curl around your finger or a pencil to create that effect. Try to create a 3D cone. Maybe do some different paper folding to create a 3D pop-up effect or a spiral cut to create a 3D pop-up effect. You can try different folds and cuts or build 3D shaped extrusions or the slotted system like you saw in the cardboard section. All right, so that wraps up our lesson for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching us build our forts. Thanks for that great idea, Grace, and we had a lot of fun with that. Um, hopefully you guys will get to do some building this week, whether you try a cardboard technique or maybe a paper building technique. I hope you can do some creating and even try the ones that don't use tape and glue. We're getting low on those supplies here. I need to be placing an order soon for my family, but lots of orders are going very slow. So. Um, you know, be thinking about how you can do things without the tape and glue. If you have a cool idea for our innovation showcase, know that it is expanding into a bigger, more talent slash passion showcase. So if you wanna show off one of your things that you've built, we would love to showcase it in our virtual showcase of students, talents, and passions. So it doesn't have to all be innovation, it can be. So I want you guys to be thinking about that. If you've got something special from art that you've done for Mr. Lanzador, maybe you've done something cool for music with Mr. David. Maybe you even have something really awesome in the world of sports that you wanna show off, um, like Mr. Riffle did with his soccer juggling. You guys decide what is your passion, your talent. Be thinking of ways you could share it with us. I need some more submissions for that uh, virtual showcase. So be thinking about that. Shoot me an email if you have an idea. 
I'd love to see you in Flipgrid. I've been seeing some great things that you guys have been doing. Keep sharing. I love seeing your faces. I'll see you soon. Bye.